What? Hi, my name is Mike, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial uh, slash kind of a demo using the Radiance custom molded earplugs for custom molded hack uh, for in-ear monitors. Um, so I've got my kit that just came in the mail today, and uh, later on this week I'm actually going to be doing another one for a different brand uh, with the Decibels uh, custom in-ear monitor sleeves. They're kind of made specifically for that. These are just for earplugs. Um, that we're kind of repurposing and turning them into what we need them to be. The other ones are, you know, specifically made to be attached in the place of a sleeve. So we're going to test both. They're about the same cost. Um, the the Radians I got for uh, 15 bucks on Amazon. There'll be a link down in the description, as well as the decibels. Those were, um, I think, 15. And uh, I'll be doing that video as soon as they come in the mail. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've got our our Radians custom molded earplugs. I'm going to go ahead and open them up. Seems a little bit cramped inside the little bag. Okay. And so we've got some paperwork here. Okay, these, uh, one thing I noticed on the reviews of these is that you want to make sure that you have a good manufacturing date, and these are relatively new. Okay, let's get going. So I went and grabbed a uh, small uh, compact mirror from my wife so that I can kind of see how they're going into my ears. So I've got my headphones, and uh, if you're maybe noticing, <laughs> what the, wondering what this is, these are the ones I use for when I play at my church. And uh, generally, I only play with like one in, and uh, I was having trouble because these headphones don't have one of the little sliders that like brings the two together. So what I ended up doing was uh, um, sticking them on my ears, and you know, getting them set, and then pulling them together and duct taping them. And then uh, I, I duct taped. I took an old tie clip so that I could actually clip it to my the top of my shirt. I just did it while we were at church because with what I had, and uh, it's just kind of stuck. So that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my the headphone process. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together. I don't have any streaks. Okay, that looks about right. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in my ears. So I'm going to go ahead and try to push it up into all the little cavities in my ear. Just get it up inside all the little nooks and crannies. And get it nice and uh, together. You know, filling in all the gaps. Then I'm going to take my, uh, my right earbud and I'm going to take it and then... Just kind of squish it in. Kind of make sure that I get the uh, driver up with my ear canal. Just get it really nice and really in there. All right, so that's one. Then we're gonna do the next one. Get it mixed up. Get that one in my other ear. Do the same thing that I just did. Just get it really nice and in there using my mirror. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my other my headphones and then you know just squish it in. Doing kind of a swivel motion to kind of twist it and get it in there. Then I'm kind of pinching off the uh, extra stuff. So, yeah. Once you've done that, then you just want to let it sit for 10 minutes. Since I might, I'm going to be singing, I want to have my jaw open, so I'm going to do that. And uh, uh, we'll check back in a few minutes. Okay, well, uh, time is up. <laughs> I actually went uh, 12 minutes instead of just 10. I'm going to go ahead and, and see if I can't. Uh, pop these out. Let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't get the headphone out first. Oh. Awesome. 
But the interesting thing is, is that with these, you get a lot of noise, like popping, and since your ears are plugged, you get a lot of pressure differential uh, in them. Oh. Ooh, that is so much better. Oh my goodness. So you get it's it is it is a it is a very very odd feeling um, having these uh, uh, in your head. <laughs> um, it's like uh, kind of similar to being underwater. Um, I was wanting to have my mouth open uh, because that that changes your jaw so that you can sing while you have them in. And uh, so what I ended up doing is uh, I didn't have anything to bite down on. Uh, generally, when you go get like custom uh, inner molds from a, uh, a an ear, uh, there's specialists that do it. And uh, generally, when you do that, they give you a little thing to bite down on. So I just used the uh, topper, uh, they're the little container, and just uh, bit down on it for the um, duration of the 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and see kind of how these turned out. So we've got you know these so it kind of you know it fits to the shape of my ear um, which is cool you know I mean it's, it's $15 you know um, so that's pretty cool um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get the earphone out just kind of try to work it out gently while not Destroying the uh, the mold. Still want to do it. Want to do it while it's kind of soft. Let's see if I can get this one out. Okay, sweet. I got them out. And I have my nice little sleeves. Awesome. Okay, so that is that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I'm uh, kind of happy with them. Uh, definitely, definitely happy with them. Okay, so now the next step is to actually go ahead and, and kind of shape them. Uh, you, what you want to do is we're going to have to cut, we're going to cut a hole um, kind of around where the uh, headphone is. If you can see kind of inside there, the um, headphone has a groove. And so I kind of want to make it so that it, you know, locks into that groove. So and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut kind of some of the excess around it and I'm also going to need to cut a hole. So you see this piece here? I'm actually going to have to cut that off right about there. So I'm going to actually go ahead and and pop the headphone back in just so that I can use it as a guide. See where the actual driver is. So if you can see there, there's a little crack where it actually kind of poked through. And then, so you see there I got you know, the driver off. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of just clean up the shape, being very careful, because I don't, I don't have time to wait the three hours for them to be kind of fully cured. Well, there you have it. I got some uh, custom ear monitors for $15. Um, I will be uploading the next uh, video as soon as my uh, as soon as my decibels come. And uh, once that kit gets here, then I'll make another video doing that, and then I'll kind of go give a, give a video that's a kind of a comparison of the two. So I'll see you guys uh, really soon. All right, bye.